Welcome. For today's video, I wanted to compare the difference between fake Oakley Sutro sunglasses and real Oakley Sutros. The uh, reason why I'm making this video is because since Sutros are now becoming more popular, um, you might see them for resale on Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji. So I just want to show some tell signs to look out for. Uh, first off, if they do come in a box, as you can tell, um, fake ones box got a little mangled, but besides that, the box is actually a pretty good copy of it. Um, one of the differences is the tag at the side of every Oakley product does tell you what's inside it, model number and so on. Counterfeit one does not have that, right? Everything else on the box is pretty good. Okay. Secondly, this the Oakley does come with the usual Oakley paperwork. Sorry, this is the real Oakley paperwork that come with glasses. Um, the fake one just comes with registering your eyewear and shows you a little card about lenses being polarized. All right, so little tell signs if they're showing you the box. If they're not showing you the box, before we move on to the glasses, is the case. In my last video or my previous video, when I looked at jawbreakers, I'll post the link to that at the end, the cases were a big tell sign. Um, they've improved. The case is actually really good. This is the one that came with the counterfeit pair. However, when you open it inside, you'll notice that it, they do come with extra lenses. The pair from AliExpress. Um, real Oakley Sucros never do come with interchangeable lenses, so that is definitely something to look out for. If they're offering new lenses, chances are they are fake. Secondly is the tag at the end. So you can notice there's a different size and the fake one is a bit larger versus the real ones. Uh, the color of the O's, this is black, the original one is silver, and this is the same on all other Oakley cases or from my previous cases also have the silver O. Finally, when you open up the case inside, you notice the padding is a little different. So this is just a huge cutout to protect the lens. This is a small, small, and the fabric is a little softer, more plush on the real Oakley pair. As well as, you see here where the zipper tags are, they also, the Oakley case does do a good job of covering that. Here on the other pair, it does not, so that could probably scratch your lenses, which are not on the real Oakley case. Finally, the soft bag also comes with a cleaning cloth. I don't know why they're still using the old Oakley logo, but they are. Material is a little different versus the real bag. Okay, cases aside, now, ta now taking a look at the glasses themselves. So what are the differences? Like I said, this was a really good pair. There are videos online that do have some previous versions of them and some of them don't have the O's or um, have Oakley written up here. As you can tell versus the original, they actually look really good. The weight is different, that's for sure. The fake pair is a little lighter, but if you were to meet up someone and they're just showing you a pair of sutros, real or fake, and you don't know, it's hard to tell just based off not feeling or not having another pair to compare it to, but they are a little lighter. Secondly, the material, like once again, is still pretty good plastic. Um, they do a really good job. See how there's a little O? I was surprised. I thought this fake pair wouldn't have it. There's also the real, or has a CE there. The made in the US or the USA assembled, Logo is a bit off. I don't know if that's on every pair or just mine. You can see here, it does have the Sutro written. This is where the serial number should be, but here there is none, obviously, and still the O is at the edge. So on the real pair, you can see the USA assembled stickers or tag is a lot cleaner. Harder to even see the O's at the edge, but they are there. On the real pair, there is the number and 
Sutro written. Okay, so still, once again, like I said, this was a pretty good fake pair. One of the other things I noticed is that the word prism is a lot larger on the fake pair. Okay, and I compared the word prism to my EV zeros and they are the exact same font. So if you have another pair of Oakleys and you wanted to compare it to a, another pair of Sutros, if you're not sure if they're real or fake, I think one of the tell signs is seeing how big prism is written. Okay. Because besides that, a pretty good knockoff. Finally, the last piece I'm going to say is here. See how the metal bar is matching the color of the arms? Here they are matching once again, but if you look at the 24K um, Sutro lenses online, or these this real pair online, which I'll show a photo at the end, this bar here is supposed to be gold. All right, on the knockoff pair, it is black. All right, so maybe even looking ahead of time um, to see if what your colors or what you should be looking out for, that might help. But even here, as you can see, the see at the bar here, they do a pretty good job mimicking the cutout. It's a bit more U-shaped on the knockoff pair versus the real pair, but I thought for sure that was going to be missing, but it is still present. Other than that, I think these fake pairs do a really good job. Um, the last little thing here is when I lay them flat, the arm is off. All right. I don't know if that's just my pair, the one I received, but that is definitely not supposed to be. So like I said, I think that has to do with it being a little bit flimsier. All right. So that's it for my video. Hopefully the information I'm showing is helpful in some sort of way in helping you tell the differences between the two. Uh, like I said, it is a lot better uh, than my other video comparing um, counterfeit Oakley jawbreakers. I think they've gotten a bit better in terms of trying to replicate the real thing. And yeah, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below.